Hi, in this screen recording, I would like to show you how to use the jQuery validation plugin uh, with Ember.js. So basically what I've done is I went to the jQuery validation website and downloaded jQuery validation and you can see the contents uh, of their directory here. Uh, so what I did was uh, go into the demo directory. There is an index.html which uh, basically shows an example of how this works. So if I can open it in Google Chrome, you can kind of see what it is. And this is where uh, it has a couple of forms and other stuff. So all I did was I created a, a copy of this file index.html and I call it myember.html. And uh, here is a copy of that. Uh, so all I'm going to do is uh, show you how to include uh, jQuery validation plugin in Ember.js. So I'm going to uncomment this area and this is basically including Ember, uh, Ember files, handlebar and my custom app.js file. The style, uh, I'm just using the sign up form. So this style information is what you would get from the jQuery validation plugin. Uh, I'm going to enable this comment here and uh, what this comment is doing here is uh, basically for the index uh, uh, page or the index URL, it is uh, showing the outlet for my form or the partial. And here is the uh, my form partial. Uh, let me just uh, uncomment this here. And uh, as you can see, uh, what this partial is doing is pretty straightforward. Uh, basically, uh, there is a sign up form that I copied from the jQuery validation. And all I have done is encapsulated in the handlebar scripts uh, with a partial called my form. So that's all really you have to do uh, in, in this uh, HTML file. I'll show you what's in the app.js. So there's a one line to create the Ember application. Uh, for the index controller, uh, basically what I'm doing is I've set it up to receive the action when the form is submitted. So when the form is submitted, this function is called. I log the information that this is being called. Uh, I get the handle to the form uh, using the jQuery selector. And I basically call my.valid, which is essentially uh, I'm checking if the sign up form uh, needs to be validated and it causes validation to occur. In the index view is basically very straightforward. Whenever the view is inserted, I run validate, which is the uh, function that you can uh, run from jQuery a validation plugin and I'll show you what validate is doing. Uh, basically I created a function validate and I copied exactly the same information you would find in the jQuery demo plugin. So that's all I had to do really to uh, make this work with Ember. So let me just uh, save it and see how well that works. Uh, as you can see the plugin comes in everything looks good. I'm going to just set a breakpoint in here under valid. Uh, so if I type in some information and do a submit form, as you can see, it has uh, stopped in the debugger and is valid uh, information is false, which is good. That means the form is not valid and I don't need to submit it. And here you can see the in the red, the information that comes out from the uh, jQuery validation plugin. So I'm going to start doing some of the stuff. Uh, I know the password has to be uh, five characters. Uh, if it doesn't match, then it says it doesn't match, so which is good, that's working. And email is the same way. If I don't type in a good email, it's not going to work. So all I'm going to do is type in a valid uh, information, uh, do a submit, and you can see that it comes back here and it says is valid is true, and I can go ahead and submit the form. So let me take a moment and kind of show you how if you want to get more information on this, uh, where you can get in. Uh, basically, if you go to uh, Google and search for my website, uh, you should be able to uh, uh, search for Gaur Associates. Uh, it comes in here, for example, I go in there and select it. And if I go under J uh, J JavaScript, I can see here is a link to the jQuery uh, validation plugin and some of the other jQuery resources. 
for ember.js you can click on the ember.js and you can see the ember.js resources thank you for watching this short video and you have a great day